little visitor in the tent. Also, he came. He was to... in the shade of the fly. Yeah. He likes this camp. You want to climb on me? Climb on. That's it. Well, let's move him into the thing. Shelly! Oh, no. Look! Wow! Big storm coming in from the south today. We're back at camp for this one. We missed out on the last one. So Shell's got all the firewood covered. It's probably going to be a bad one. I've got the fire up, but it's going to go out. But the object today is to get rainwater so we can have showers. I've covered up the back of the awning there with some tarps. It's going to hit from the south. So hopefully I've done enough to keep, you know, a dry area underneath there. As we've pulled the Oz tent down, we're leaving in a couple of days. So uh, shower water's our main objective. Camp's gone a bit quiet since this big storm. It's set in for a day, maybe a bit more. There's a lot of people packing up. Some aren't made for off-grid stuff, I guess. Just seeing our neighbours across. Uh, the wet weather's sort of uh, put their escape route a little bit earlier than what it would have been. So um, we'll just watch them cross, make sure they're okay. I know they were very anxious to get across. I think a little bit of panic had set in because uh, that's a bit quick for mind. Woken up in the middle of the night, major downpour. Four or five inches of water on the ground. Can be quite brutal this place. Catching water everywhere. Jerry cans filling up. Very grateful to be off the ground in the JK. There's a lot of people here in tents. A lot of movement happening on the other camps. We got smashed. We collected rainwater. Surprisingly, I kept adding to the fire. I'm wet too. But the fire's going, which is awesome. On our daily walk down to the beach, we find a turtle that's come in. Whether it's come in with the big seas the night before with the storm, or if it's come in for a rest or it's sick. Nearly there. Come on, sit down. We help it back in the water. You're a heavy one. You look heavy. Water! Yes! You got her in. You got her in. She might not be able to swim still. It's a good sign that it could dive again. It was swimming quite strongly. The kids were very excited. With the right tide, we were able to take the rubber ducky out into the surf through the mouth of the creek. It was quite an interesting ride out around the rocks. Shell would meet us on the beach when we're done and she'd tow the boat back up to camp for us. We decided to do a day trip up the creek. We packed some lunch, our sense of adventure, I topped up the fuel and off we went. To the unknown. All I knew is we had two or three hours of time to get up there and get back. We found somewhere to pull up, even a, a cut down tree here to tie the boat to. Maybe brackish, it's very cloudy, it's hard to know the depth. So we know we've got a little bit of time before we've got to get back with the tide. But all this is only happening at low tide down the creek. 
High tide's bringing in the clean water. So this is all from the storms that have been happening over the past month. There's also a road that leads. Look at this pioneer family. We're gonna go and suss out where this road goes. Remember, we don't have a lot of time, but we've got afternoon tea and air regard. And we're gonna go for a bit of a wander. So, kids and I, we just landed in this, this unusual space. We're taking a little bit of adventure and we're looking around and we're just gonna do some spotting. Oh my goodness, <laughs> what is that up the tree? It's a gorilla. It's Danny Waller Fox. <laughs> The mozzies clearly haven't seen people in this area for a while either. We're getting smashed. So we've come to some mud here. The track sort of stops. I'm not sure where, what happens at the other end of this. So we'll head back to the boat and have our afternoon tea. What's that, mate? You found a track around, yeah, but I can see it doesn't go anywhere. But this is why there's no tire tracks this side of that swamp. You might. Yeah, I'm getting smashed. We're going to get back. This inflatable has been awesome over the years. I can remember when the kids were really tiny and Shell basically holding them. Now they're up the front, we're out in the waves. It's a three metre aquamarine inflatable and we run it with a 9.8 Tahatsu outboard, short shaft outboard. Uh, it's a great setup for now. Again, how we like it, hey? Yeah. Solo mission. If you get stuck, you use these things. What are they? What are they? They look like a, I don't know, paddle pop stick. We're not going to get stuck, are we? Do we get more ice cream then? What? With a paddle pop? On the paddle pop stick. Right. We're going to get wet anyway, so whether we're here or back at camp. Family's not worried. It's getting closer. We're kind of thinking of moving now. It's directly above us. Still sort of blue the way we got to go. What do you reckon? <laughs> the kids don't care. Back at the ramp, it seems to have passed. Guide the cruiser down. About to head up and get the fire going for what's gonna be a bit of an experiment dinner. Stay tuned for that one. It was a pretty good adventure going down there in the boat. We might do it again with a bit more time up our sleeve with the turning of the tide. The other thing I like about this shower setup is that it's attached to the truck. So it's not purely on the caravan. Uh, it's mobile, so you could be on the beach. Uh, you could be full driving, you could be at a full drive event. Whether you're pulling the water out of a creek, a bucket or jerry can, it's, uh, it's all on, on the vehicle. So here we were today at the beach, uh, then have a nice hot shower before heading back to camp. Let's go, kids. Let's go. So in the freezer here, next to the ice cream, the Neapolitan ice cream, super dupers, we've got some Aussie beef Angus 4 and 20 pies. So this is an experiment. The camp oven's been sitting over the fire probably 20 minutes, so it's quite warm in there. Throw the lid back on. We'll check back with these pies in about 40 minutes. He's just rolled it over and that, that front wheel's not spinning. Broken CV. Yeah, definitely broken CV. Look at that, son. These ones are still... Oh, dear. Do we have spares here? Yeah. Do we? Go grab it. Let's see if we can fix it. Because, because you do have a CV. There we go. 
I gotta try and remember how to fix it. Yeah, look at that. That's broken, mate. Look at that. The world's broken. Show what the look new one should look like. Look at that. Perfect. So we take the bearing off, slip it on the axle, and we pop this into the diff. It's not only really fixed, isn't it? Big drop off. Okay, well this is the test. This will tell us if she's twin locked. Yeah, it's all fixed. Oh, slow, slow, slow. Good drive. Well done. You happy now? You got twin locked again. Excellent. Just time to have a look. Hopefully. Oh, we've got him face down. Oh, that's looking great. Millie, could we have another 15 minute timer? Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Look at that, guys. Yum. Good. In all honesty, it's not a very big fire. It's just got some good coals in there. There's a big distance. It's probably 250 mil. But this is our camp oven seems to be holding the heat enough to cook those pies. The knife test. This is going to be mine. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. That's Meat pies for dinner in the bush. Nice. This thing's a keeper. Shell's mum, we have to steal it. I'll be eating inside. Come and have a look at your dinner. I'll be eating inside. You're not camping. There you have it. Meat pies and mashed potato in the bush. That camp oven, that's a keeper. Again, I have to say how much of a fan I am of this hot plate that Shell got from Audi oh, earlier in the year for another trip we did. Been cooking on the open fire with it. It's so tough. Uh, the, the, the coating still hasn't moved. It's still non-stick as the day we bought it. I'm loving it. I, I love my fry pan, but for bigger things like six hamburger patties, uh, being on a flat plate, also with the eggs, it's actually really amazing. I didn't think it would last two times on the fire. For us, camping and cooking go hand in hand. Shell and I spend quite a bit of organisation time uh, preparing each meal on paper before we do any big trip. So she's got it down packed to the tea. We love our open fire cooking. We conclude the final part of the series with us coming through the creek quite high. Thanks to all the new subscribers and followers through 2020. We wish everybody a happy 2021. And as always, thanks for watching. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs>